Hey, buenos dias, you little casual fricks. Back for another one. Me and Hoops. What's been happening? What's the boss, big fella? Nah, uh, not much. What are you drinking? I got a little protein water. Muscle Nation protein water. Fucking this fella. <laughs> On a bit of a health kick lately. Yeah, good shit. It's um actually tastes really good. Ready? Oh, Fuck. make me keen for a beer. Yeah, that wasn't a beer sound, unfortunately, but this protein water's pretty good. What about you drinking a coffee? Got me little Annie's fucking crack juice. This cunt. Okay. <laughs> Every time he's coming over, oh man, you want a coffee? <laughs> Every time I tell him I don't drink coffee, <laughs> he still asks me. Every put time. Put the pressure on him, eh? Yeah. Nah, just being considerate, mate. Yeah, I suppose <laughs> you got to ask anyway. Yeah. Um, is there anything that you don't eat or drink that, yeah. you know, people oh, find yeah. weird? Because people always think it's weird that I don't drink coffee. Yeah, I know. Especially yeah. doing shift work. Most and people do drink coffee, honestly. Yeah. It's doing a, shift work and waking up early and doing yeah. stuff like that, people are amazed that I don't drink coffee. Yeah, yeah, it is. Because that's funny you say that. When I was talking, um, the midwife come around for a little home point the other day and I said, oh, yeah, have your coffee? She said, I don't drink coffee. And oh, instantly yeah. I thought, fucking weird. Yeah, I'm. yeah. <laughs> no. Well, actually, you know what's in Australia, if you don't drink, like grog, people think you're fucking yeah, weird. Yeah, true, eh? Yeah. And I remember when I was older, like back in the day working in the mines, there was one fella that didn't drink alcohol and he was all the all the blokes are a bit off him and one of the other old cane farmers was like it's because he doesn't fucking drink alcohol anyone yeah. who doesn't drink piss is weirdos really yeah yeah that's a shit attitude to have oh, eh? that's just yeah that's the aussie sort of culture yeah. eh? alcohol's is fun you know yeah. as you've had fucking plenty of good times on yeah, it. definitely but certain people just shouldn't drink yeah 100 percent, definitely some can't people, hold fuck, fuck, some people just should not drink i can't and think of anything else eh? Hey? that like I've, i that fucking I'm hate that everyone cucumber you hate it. People really? say it don't have a taste or anything. That's I, what I mean. It's cucumber. I don't. That's nothing to it. But I fucking hate it. I think it has a taste. Have you tried chopping it up, eating it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You're meant to have it whole, aren't yeah. you? <laughs> it's just swallow him deep. <laughs> put him in the freezer, bud. <laughs> Sit on it. No. no, you you put it on a burger. The yeah. only thing I can taste is cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's how you get. That's how people get with coriander, which I love. I absolutely love Co- coriander. coriander. I it's best herb. Yeah. I honestly think coriander is... Cilantro. Cilant- cilantro. <laughs> yeah. I, I love it. Like one of my mates reckons he was going to that burrito bar and get, yeah. he reckons every time I've got a burrito, it tasted like uh, detergent. Like some kind of was putting detergent on it. <laughs> I was off it. And then he reckons he figured out it was coriander. I was really? like, fuck, I love coriander. Yeah. Man. I reckon it's a good little additive. Yeah. Fuck yeah. It's probably that and um, fucking cumin. Anything Mexican with those kind of those kind of herbs. Yeah. Bah, I you love say it. cumin. What, what do you say? I think I say... I Come say cumin. You say cumin yeah. inside you. Yeah, man. No, I say cumin. Yeah, that's true. Cumin. 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 No, cumin. Cumin. <laughs> oh, cultured fella. This fella. No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What it is. What is it? There's Google so it. many different words, I suppose. Hey, that Oi, have, you you ever, just, have you ever yeah. pronounced the word fucked like, and you didn't realise you were pronouncing it fucked? Because there's this one back, <laughs> back in the day, my mate, he had a missus on. Uh, he, he made this missus on MSN. Oh, you know how yeah. people get on there? Yeah, and yeah. I remember <laughs> he'd only have been talking to the Sheila on MSN and her friend's name was Shabon. Yeah. Shaban, Shabon, whatever. And then she he obviously seen her type it out on MSN and then he was talking on the phone and he's like, <laughs> so are you bringing your friend Shio Barn around? <laughs> <laughs> That's like that Key and Peele yeah. character. Yeah. 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 That substitute teacher. Hey, hey Ron. <laughs> yeah, we just pronounce this hey, hey, all the way. Yeah, I yeah. think names are hard though. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Names are different. But because that, it's Shio like... Barn's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Shio <man>. Barn. <laughs> I'll never let that one go in. No, we were saying, you know, the River Thames yeah, in yeah. like going through London. Yep. I remember we were fucking G and up about um, River T Hams, T Ham, River Thames. Like, <laughs> saying yeah. it every way except for the right way, oh. sort of thing. Her name's <laughs> Mrs. Crabapple. I've been calling her Miss Crabapple all this time. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Homer. <laughs> But you know other words like that, cilantro or coriander. Cilantro, that, that spun me out because um, people we, say different. Yeah, obviously it's different. Um, another one was in a, yeah, when I was in Canada was capsicum. We only call it in Australia. We only they call, call it capsicum. Pepper, right? They call them peppers. Yeah, yep. And and beetroots. We call them beetroots. They call them beets. Just beets. Like fat beets. <laughs> <laughs> beets by Dre. Yeah. <laughs> Probably beets by Dre. But yeah, that's a what nice about um, c- cordial? When we were in Hawaii, we went out for a feed and um, got a little cocktail, and my daughter. Looking at our drink, like it looks all fancy, yeah. coloured drink, and um, she wanted to drink it, so we we're like, "You can't fucking drink this." Is that alcohol? So we asked the barmaid to make a little cordial up, just so it's yeah, got some yeah. colouring, just so she thinks she's yeah. having what we're having, sort yep. of thing. Fuck yeah. And I'm asking, "Oh, can we get some like a red cordial?" 
She's looking at me like I'm so weird. (laughs) Then we're like, oh, you know, like cordial, like coloring, um, like coloring in the water. And then they should give you a fucking water with food coloring (laughs) in it. (laughs) Nah, so they call it fucking. um, I don't know what they call it. No, they call it. Oh man, my 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 brain is not working at the moment. Because you need a coffee. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I might took that coffee coffee up, but. No, they call it grenadine. 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 Bullshit. Yeah. Grenadine. I don't even never heard that one. Really? There well, you go, they call it cordial is grenadine. That She's is. like, oh, grenadine. <laughs> like, yeah. So we started saying it all trip. We're like, oh, can we get some grenadine, please? That sounds like some sort of medication should be taken for a headache. Sounds something. like a fucking a grenadine. A bit of betadine. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, what uh, they call it? My mate used to always call it. Um, my American mate or something. He used to always call soft drink pop. Yeah. I need some pop. Yeah, yeah. And how he used to drink alcohol spun me out. He used to drink. He'd get a bottle of vodka. And a bottle of like whatever it was, coke or fizzy pop, fizzy pop, and he'd just like swig for swig. Oh, didn't yeah. mix it. He together. Didn't premix when it, all the time we would go yeah, out, we'd right. get alcohol, we'd pre-drink it before we go out partying. Like he's having a shot chaser. with a chaser. Pretty much shot for chaser, and that's how he'd drink all the time. He'd go shot of vodka or just like a swig of the bottle and then a swig of that. And then there was one night I was just thinking, fuck, this guy can drink or whatever. And then one night <laughs> we went halves on a bottle of vodka, and I was like, I oh, will just drink it how I drink it, eh? Like how we, how, yeah, just fuck yeah. your little chaser fucking trick. I, that's trash. And he said, yeah, yeah, righto. And we were just like mixing how we usually do here in Australia, yeah. whatever, you know, yay to yay. And then after like four or five drinks, he was like, man, I need to slow down. I'm getting too drunk. Really? So it's like the opposite. I thought that. Yeah, I thought it would have yeah. been more, Same. like you get more charged doing 100%, 100%. shots 100%. with a little chaser. So he must just do it. Must just fucking do it little, have big breaks. You know how people, when you pretend yeah. you're sculling, but you just got your lips shut. <laughs> you he's know when pretending you do... to have a shot, but he's yeah. <laughs> got his lips shut. <laughs> when you're doing um, King's Cup. And you get waterfall. Yeah, yeah. And you just, you yeah. just, just hold it there like that, just jamming, <laughs> and then every comes out. Everyone <laughs> else is fucking going hard, and yeah. you're just, just fucking blocking it. Yeah. Nah, that's that's fucked up, yeah. eh? <laughs> yeah, there's funny, um, there's always funny words like that, eh? I'm trying to think okay. of anything else. Togs, apparently, togs is really a uh, Queensland thing. Uh, yeah. Like swimmers? They, yeah. Even in Australia, they swimsuit. call it swimsuit. That's what swimsuits. That's yeah. what they all. I think that's what they call bodies. I suppose it's not weird. Eh? It's just a culture thing. It's it what they thing. grew up with. A big culture thing with Australians is that I didn't know until I started traveling is that um, we wear bodies all the time. Yeah. So we wear board. I'm wearing board shorts right now. Like we wear bodies even when we're not going swimming. Yeah. Like in charters, we'd wear bodies <laughs> all the time. And then people, when we're on Kentucky, would get out, spun sure. out. People get spun out. Like, what are you going swimming? I remember we were walking along. Me, my two mates were walking along in uh, Vegas, and um. We were just wearing bodies and shirts and we ran into these other people from the, that were staying in the same hostel. They were from Norway or something. They're like, what are you guys going swimming? <laughs> Where's the pool? Yeah, yeah, and I was like, ah, oh, bad, we're just cruising. <laughs> so we just well, wear board shorts all the time. One thing I've, um, I was talking to D-Max at it actually yeah. the, at work the other day. He was, <laughs> he was rousing Little his kids. Yeah, he was rousing his kids because they they've started saying words like American words. Oh, with an accent? Thing. Like, no, know, I don't think oh, with an accent. Oh, okay, yeah. But like, uh, what do you use his example? He's, they might have said wrench or something instead of spanner <laughs> and like just certain things. And <laughs> well, I yeah, do feel that like kids now. Just from probably too much YouTube or something American. Yeah. YouTube. They watch so much American TV, I suppose. Like they're yeah. sort of, you're losing them Australian words. You do. Or, you but know, I the find words the older you, here. It, I don't know whether it's a thing, the older you get, you start to hang around more old people and some of them old sayings start to kick in. But yeah, I found yeah. the older I get, I'm st- all of a sudden I'm fucking these little words that I used to bag like older people out. Oh, now I'm saying yeah, it? Yeah, like what? Like fair income. <laughs> uh, I yeah, caught myself yeah. dropping that. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, true, fair income. Like, What's the best, younger, like, little, be best little slang term you reckon that you... Oh, like You might not even say it, but just one that you love when people put... Like, oh, one proper... Fuck, you got to give me give me a minute. What do you got? Yeah. Give, me, oh. give me a little bit to sit on it. Shit. Think on it. <laughs> what <are you> <laughs> <sitting> <laughs> on? <laughs> sit on bounce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know either, but like... I, I th- oh, my missus was, <laughs> she was giving me shit the other day because I'm talking, um, I'm talking to her on the phone, but then I'm talking to someone as well. Like they walk past yeah, yeah. and um, this is at work and they walk past in the car park and I said, oh yeah, I'll see you Sunday. Sunday, yeah. And she like, she's like, Sunday, you Tuesday. don't say that. Sunday. Like I said, yeah, <laughs> you know, she's giving me shit about saying like. Sunday, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Monday <laughs> instead of Sunday. Yeah, I think the older you get, you start but dropping that in a little. Yeah, bit I don't more. sort of. I probably didn't used to say, it, but like you say, you f- you find yourself sort of. It's weird how it ch- ch- changes, and when you're younger and a teenager, you're like, yeah, dude, <laughs> <laughs> trying to be like a fucking. That was probably surfer. that was, Cali, pro- that was probably an American thing I said when I was a teenager. It was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, dude, 
Yeah. Like, well, I suppose it's like the kids now trying yeah. to pull off little... Um, a shame, ah. Yeah. Little slang grump. terms. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's, um, I, I don't know if it's it's just forever, that's that's forever society. The older you get, yeah. you hate on younger. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah it probably is. You eh? just think it's cringe. Like, fuck, I heard... Th- like, this is a sign I'm getting old, but the other day in the smoker room, I heard one of the younger fellas say to the other fellas, oh, have you heard of this show called Jersey Shore? <laughs> and, the, and then his mates like, nah, but what was these older fellas? No, nah, younger fellas. Oh. They were like fucking nineteen or twenty or something. Like, you heard of the show called Jersey Shore? And then he's like, nah, but and I just couldn't help myself. Like, you little fucking TikTok generation <laughs> cunts, haven't you heard of that? But, yeah, started roasting. Well, that's just been hasn't been on TV in ages. Yeah, hey, see, so that's a sign that we're just, fucking getting yeah, on, but yeah, yeah fuck, getting over the hill. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I, I can't think of any other little terms that I like Aussie terms that I absolutely love. Yeah, neither. But it's funny as when you run into them old fellas or them real Aussie blokes, they just yeah. they can just pull that shit off. Yeah, you know? they crack it. All my because when I was younger, I started working in the mines. They were all the people I worked with, the biggest cow cocky ringers, cane yeah, farmers. Yeah. They had some awesome chat. <laughs> but I can't really think of anything off the top of my head. Like um, one thing I do want to get off my fucking chest. It's been bugging me lately. It's really weighing me down. <laughs> Fucking fake friend requests. <laughs> True. Friend requests, man. I get that about fucking eight. Random I off. fucking get that about eight of the cunts a day. I did not think it was going to. I was thinking like you're going to come out of the closet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> no, Diggs, no, True. Fake friend just request. annoying as fuck. I'll, I get, honestly, I'll get so none. many. I'll get none, man. You must Bro, be too like, popular this time. Nah. True. No, like, I've been what, getting heaps, like what, probably what, eight a day. They're just like from Indians and shit, or no, the ex- random Nigerians trying to hustle your iTunes account. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's like these fucking fake profiles with these sexy girls as their profile oh, picture. Yeah, you know yeah. them, and they got yeah. no friends. I remember them back in the day. It'd be a sexy Sheila. She'd add add you, and you'd confirm it, and it'd be like all on her page was just shoes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, selling shoes. I, don't, I haven't seen that. In I've years, been but. getting heaps. No, no mutual friends. Yeah, the only cool. thing on their page is a profile picture. That's when you know it's a They've got like 10 friends. Yeah, right. I'm yeah. like, fuck off. Yeah, and right. I get these random phone calls from like these fucking numbers down in Melbourne and stuff. Yeah, right. And I don't usually answer any calls that I don't have. Yep. Um, so I just turn them off. I like, fucking... Ignore them. Yeah, ignore them. Does it come up saying sus- suspected spam or whatever? No. Or it call? says like, you know how it has the number and then underneath yep. it says where it's calling yeah, from? Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Um, it'll say like Melbourne or fucking these random places in Victoria. But I answered one of them and straight away it was just like some Asian automated fucking message. So someone's, but maybe someone's hacked you. Maybe fuck. someone's pranking you back for prank. Yeah. Doing a catalogue ad years fuck. ago. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> no, it's it. you, you know. No, I haven't. Hey? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> True, I, I really don't. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't been hustled like that in a long time. But oh. I know that those Nigerians are always hustling. Because my um, mother-in-law got done oh, by the true. iTunes account. Yeah, right. The classic iTunes. Oh, I can't remember how they, they come up with some bullshit. I do get text messages of... Uh, the delivery thing, pick up your parcel. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. toll. Your toll yeah. hasn't been paid. Yeah, Have you get that? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. No, How I don't the know fuck if I get the toll get I mean, I get the delivery, the parcel. Yeah. Ones. Unsuccessful yeah. delivery. Yeah, um, shit like that. Click here. Click on the link. Yeah, I get yeah. that. Most of the time, I can't really think of any other. Which, that's actually a good hustle because yeah. every console, well, like us here, we're always time, buying shit online. Definitely. The first time, I remember like, yeah, the first time I was like, fuck, is this legit? Yeah. I'm trying to think of it. Have you ever been hustled other than that? Nah, like like with scams, like I've been I've been hustled nah. in um, I got hustled overseas with the fake calculators when I first calculators. In, yeah, in Central America, I think it was when you when you're going through Central America to South America, when you're backpacking through there, it's hard because you're not in a country for a long time. There's so many different countries, so it's actually hard to get your head around the um exchange rate. Oh, and do they all use different money? They use different money, so you go from say um Mexico into Belize, oh, different yeah. currency, yeah, Belize into. Annoying. Honduras or, you know, Nicaragua, different currency. Nicaragua and Guatemala, different currency. Yeah. So it, that's one of the trips where it was took me a while to get my head around it. Yeah. But at the border, when you're going over the border, they all swarm you. And my first one I actually got stung by because after it, I was like putting up my own calculator. But they have these calculators. So what? Yeah. They have these calculators and they obviously edited and they'd be like, yep, here it is. 20 times, uh, whatever, say the currency rate, 17 or whatever, 40 or something. They'll do that, type it out. There you go, it kills that much. And I remember the first time I was like, yeah, whatever. And then I got back to the hostel and I just checked it and I was like, fuck, I got ripped off by how much it was, yeah, 50 bucks. Right. And then from then on, I was just pulling out my phone and doing yeah, it right yeah. there in front of them. I thought you were saying they were selling your calculators and then but <laughs> <laughs> and then the calculator was like dodging. Why buy, you why know? Buy a calculator? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. That's <laughs> I why I bought a calculator it. in 20 years. That's why I fucking thought it was weird. Yeah, no, like that's, I've been, that's a, on their that's calculator. One, that's one scam I can think of. Like yeah. the whole travel scam, you get done a bit more yeah. when you're doing that shit. But 
online. I can't really think, eh? No. Fuck. Yeah, I haven't been done by anything, luckily. Yeah, because well, yeah, you hear some. I think well, I think one of my mates got scammed when he went into Cancun and he did the whole the card and they got thousands off him. True. Yeah, thousands. I think it was like a, I don't know if it was one of them fake ATMs. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if it was yeah, something like yeah. that. He ended up getting it back through his travel insurance, I'm pretty sure. But this was like, yeah, going back a while. No, the ones now are so... Like they seem pretty legit. It would yeah. be easier to get done by, well, but now a lot I just of people fucking get done. don't click on anything or answer any calls yeah, or that's nothing. That's the way to do it. Like, now a lot of people get done with the old um, crypto. Like how many cunts get their yeah. account hacked yeah. on Instagram and that, you know? And they mess. You ever had that yet? No. I had uh, one of my mates, a mutual friend of a mate who lives up in Kansas, messaged me saying, "Hey man, can I ask you for a favor?" And I was just oh, thinking, they yeah. yeah actually, I was like, yeah, bro, and he's like, "Oh, can you um." send me your email or send me your number so I can, or did something like that. Yeah. Uh, ask for something and I was like, oh, straight away I was like, oh, this is a bit sus but yeah, it's just because they, and you see them get, a, they're hacked and then all of a sudden they're fucking into crypto. Oh, okay. You know all them yeah, accounts? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I have seen that, yeah. But yeah, fuck, I don't know. Fuck what fake friend requests then, eh? Fucking annoying, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's fucking happening so much. Um, but it's just recently and it's fucking pissing me off. I'm just fucking, I've been thinking about, um, Delete while well, not delete and have enough spell from Facebook and yeah, that. Just get yeah. off it for a bit. But yeah, maybe you're due for that. Detox. Mm, maybe. <laughs> yeah, fuck. What else you got, bud? What else? What's some good yarns? What's a good prank? Give us, tell me what some of your fucking maddest prank, bud. We were talking about that the earlier. The ones we've bring done. Up, bring up oh, some pranks. <laughs> the one that we got you with was pretty good. Um, <laughs> yeah. One that I got done with was my. <laughs> My mate in high school, fuck, um, <laughs> he got us with the best prank. It was the most elaborate scheme I think I've ever seen for a prank. Um, so Pl- like Planned it well. Yeah. So this prank went for like a month, over a month. And it's, it was one of the things that started with like a lie. And I think because we believed it, he just kept adding to it and adding to it. And He's then he... Digging uh, himself a grave. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it turns out... Um, So my mate, Sam, fucking shout out Sam. Um, He was like our best mate in school. He was a year older. And um, I think they were grade 12, we were grade 11. And he's told us, fucking come to school one day. Oh, boys, fuck, he's acting all depressed, man. (laughs) This is pretty fucked up. But he's like, oh, man, my mum fucking cheated on my dad. (laughs) And I'm like... (laughs) Uh, told this fucking story and then we're like oh man that's shit and i think because it did like, you believe it yeah if i can like yeah, we right. don't like, yeah. i didn't know his family that well yeah, yeah. you know um and then, <laughs> that's pretty and then we prank. sort of went on and, and then like a week later he comes back oh boys i gotta fucking move to brisbane now live with my grandma <laughs> we're like oh fuck that's shit man you know and then he like just kept adding things over the next <laughs> oh, few weeks no. and then comes to it like yeah a few weeks later we go to his house because it's come the day he has to move and we go to his house, his whole room's packed up. He's got his suitcases packed. Um, oh. And there's this little envelope on the kitchen bench um, with these like fucking tickets inside it. So we drive him to the airport and we're like, we're fucking sad, as you know. This is our best mate in school. And we're like, fuck, why you got to move away? Like getting <laughs> all sad. As and you then, would. Yeah, fucking oath. And then we get to the airport. We're sitting around waiting for him to check in and stuff. <laughs> and then this kind of opens the envelope and it's just these paper towels. <laughs> and he opens his suitcase and it's just got footy socks in it. <laughs> and he's what like, he thinking? He then he's like, like, nah, boy, he's just joking. I made all this up. So he'd just so been just going on. Yeah, just going on with this fucking thing for a month. <laughs> <laughs> and um, <laughs> Can't, so, you never trust him again. Yeah, yeah. oh, <laughs> fucking, he wasn't real trustworthy to start with. But after that, never. Um, but yeah, so he ends up Does going it? back to his house. All his stuff he just put in his brother's room to make it look like he'd moved all his shit out. He just put it in his that, brother's room. But that is yeah. a random like that's I wouldn't even come up with that. That is fucking random. But yeah, packed, suitcase packed and like the little envelope and stuff like it was just like to top it off. But <laughs> yeah, you'd be thinking like, how come your parents aren't dropping? Off the yeah, airport? I know. It, yeah, piecing things together yeah. now it's like how did we believe that yeah, like yeah, it was yeah. fucking stupid but we were kids and we yeah, were know, more, we were just more so tied up with the fact that our best mate was moving away the fucking and funny this part fucked is up shit's happening with his family he's, and we're like, just, oh. he's just toying with his mate's emotions <laughs> <laughs> he's like i wonder if these guns are really mates oh, man, I'll test them out. he was the lad um you know how i told that yarn about missing all them flights and fucking around um because i was going yeah. to portugal yeah, he yeah. was living in portugal oh yeah so, um, yeah Fuck, he's a yeah. fucking maniac so another funny story just 
fucking with this idiot. This will give more <laughs> context to this stupid prank and how much of an idiot he is. So him and another mate, Kieran, they lived like a street away from each other. And remember Flight of the Concords, yeah. the TV show? Like they were stand up doing the fucking yep. guitar stuff. But then they ended up having a TV show on HBO, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And they brought out I a little two season um but they had that, two yeah. season TV show. Too many dicks on the dance floor. Yeah, they Too had many dicks. good songs, eh? <laughs> so these two lads went halves to buy the little box set, season one and two. Back when you buy DVDs. Yeah, Fuck, yeah, exactly. Back, went to yeah. Sanity or something. You know? <laughs> yeah, Go to Sanity and buy a yeah. um, DVD. So they bought the box set and then they didn't want to argue over it. So they burnt two copies. What do you mean? Argue like over. argue over who gets to what, keep it at their oh, house, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, who yeah, gets yeah. to keep it at their house or yeah. watch it or anything. So they burnt two copies of, <laughs> of so the two it. seasons. They bought it, they burnt it. two copies, kept the copied ones each. But then the original, they w- took down the park and buried it. <laughs> what the fuck? Holy Instead of just like ass. return, you like you've burnt it. That's, Can't you return it now? Um, or pretty peaceful for teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That proper Switzerland, yeah. proper neutral. But, fucking... <laughs> like why not one keep the burnt copy, one oh, keep no. the original, oh, no, and or just swap it over. Just they return must, it. They just had uttermost mutual respect yeah, yeah. for each other. And yeah, <laughs> and didn't want to argue over. Fucking, <laughs> wouldn't you just give it away? To yeah, fuck. Or sell it. Yeah, resell it to someone or something. <laughs> they buried it. Did they both know where it was buried? <laughs> Maybe like a time capsule. Wait, where did they bury it? You I don't know. Oh, I'm all, we'll, we'll have to fucking. I should <laughs> ring him on because he's been watching the potty. He reckons I'll ring him fuck one that. episode. I reckon get him on the line. That and, is um, civil. Like, how old they would have been? Teenagers or something. I don't even know that if there's fucking yeah, funny. Yeah, ass, probably man. yeah. I don't know. 15, 16, I said. <laughs> oh, I that's gold. But yeah, that sort of gives context to what sort of a fucking idiot this What kind of mind state there is. He's fucking funny. Yeah. That's awesome. We got a heap of funny yarns about him. (laughs) I can't think of any big significant pranks like that. You know what I mean? Like all us, we used to prank each other all the time, but it was all just kind of little shit all the time. We used to burn each other's heels. You know that thing? You ever had (laughs) that? No. Never heard. Some people get spun out by it. It must be like. Must be a charters thing. Must be a charters thing (laughs) or must be like our only kind of group thing because even some other people from charters. It's funny, but the, the the fucking skin on your heel is so thick. Yeah. If you hold a lighter on it, it, it takes ages to get hot. And then when you remove the lighter, it continues to get hotter and hotter oh, and hotter. Yeah. So we used to do it when we were sleeping. Like when someone was sleeping, you'd burn their <laughs> when heel. When someone passed out or something. Yeah, or when they were passed out or when they were sleeping or whatever, you burn their heel. It sounds way more brutal because when I was telling my missus this, she's like, what the fuck? Which it sounds more brutal than what yeah. it's like. Can you not really feel it? You like can. Like, so at first, I say I put a, I hold a lighter on your heel for the first five seconds, you won't feel anything. But when I move it away, then you'll feel it get hotter oh, and hotter. Yeah. And yeah. what we used to do is burn people's heel when they're sleeping and hide. You hide. So they wake <laughs> up in the middle of the night and they don't know what the fuck's going on. But yeah. we did it to our mate one time. Like we were fucking uh, camping out of town. My mate had uh, his parents were horse trainers. And they, they were about half an hour to charters. And we used to always go out there and camp and fucking get on the piss and all that. Like ride motorbikes and whatnot. And we're camping in his um, donga. And we burnt one of our mates' heel and then we all hid. We were all hiding. That's probably like fucking six, so eight you were doing spinning out, like not even knowing what yeah. was going well, on. Well, that's what you do. You burn the heel until they know. And then eventually when they've been done, they're like, you wake up yeah. thinking, you can't. Yeah, but the first time that would have happened, you'd get, be freaking out. Like, you, you what is... Out. And yeah. especially if you, you turn all the lights off, you burn the heel, then you hide out. And then you just, <laughs> you try and not laugh. <laughs> that's the part. You try and yeah. not laugh to their reaction and just try to pretend to be asleep. We did it to this fella, Brasher. Poor cunt. He used to get done with everything old Brasher. But um. He's that one mate that used to just cop yeah, shit all yeah. the time. And we burn his heel and we all hiding and then he woke up and he's like, ah, and screaming. <laughs> and he's like, my boys, wake up. There's a snake in the donga. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fucking snake in here. I've been bitten. Fuck. <laughs> and we were just laughing so hard. Man. We used to do that all the time. That was one, one casual thing. Yeah, that it does seem pretty fucked up. Another thing we did, like, I remember driving back from, from towns with the charters. Me and my mate were driving, just the two of us. And he was, um, he was, I think he must have been an apprentice at the time because he was just like driving along and then he started, I guess, just thinking out aloud like he started saying to me, I wonder if we connect if we connect a blinker to a horn. Like obviously he'd been learning some auto electrics yeah. in his car. Yeah. He was like, I wonder if we connect a blinker to the horn if they'll go off in unison. I'm just, oh, fuck, back then, I was, even now I'm still not the best for electronics. I was like, fuck, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Mm. I was like, when we get home, we'll try to my car because I had an old busted BN Commodore. Yeah. He had like a nice and new Commodore. So we get back to my house and then, um, yeah, he's just fucking around on it when we're there. Then we, we tested it. You put the blinker on and it goes beep in unison. Yeah. With the right. horn, like with the yeah. horn, it was fucking cool as we're like, that's wicked. <laughs> and then just by chance, not long after that, a mate rocked up and because we're all at our house and, and um, a mate rocked up and then we're like, oh, let's go for a drive. So there was me, my mate, and then another car. And then my mate that just rocked up, we're like, we're getting him, eh? We're getting Nick. 
And I was like, oh, but you can drive my car, right? And he's like, nah, I'm not driving your car. Because actually what was funny, it's funny, he's like, I'm not driving your car. I know what you did to Bally week before that. The fuel gauge in my car never worked. <laughs> oh, true. And I don't know why we were thinking of it more. I had an old Commodore that fucking same thing, same that fuel, fuel gauge, gauge yeah, didn't I work. It's a car name. <laughs> but I remember like a week before that, I was like to Bally, hey, you can drive my car. And um, I was like to my mates, fuck, I think I've got no fuel. I think we're going to run out of fuel soon. <laughs> we're driving down the main street in China. It's dumb cunts. I don't know why we're thinking this because we could have fucking did ourselves a headache. Yeah. And then Bally's driving next minute. He's like, what the fuck's going on with your car? <laughs> and then literally we rolled into the servo. Oh, true. I was like, oh, I must be out of fuel. And he just rolled Then Then Gavin the say like, oh, whoever's driving has to pay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah you <laughs> every got, time you, you run it low. Now, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> just offload it to every other car. <laughs> Proper tight ass. But I um, remember Nick was like, nah, I know what you did to Bally, but you got fuel in there. I'm like, no, nah, I guarantee you there's fuel in there. <laughs> He's like, all oh, right. righto. And it just happened to be like we where we drove out of my mum's house. We drove along and then he, he was driving. He put the blinker on and my mate, Rolf, he was in the car behind him, yeah. his car. <laughs> and he put the blinker on and it was like, we had to go right. It was the right blinker. Yeah. And he put the right blinker on and it was like, beep, beep, beep. And he turned it off and he's like, what the fuck's Eli on? <laughs> <laughs> in fact, he's like thinking he's trying to yeah, get his thought, attention. He thought the cunt behind yeah. him was beeping oh, at him, but yeah. it was our own car. He's like, what's this cunt on? Oh, right. And then he keeps on driving. And then we had a left after that. Yeah. And we, we worked out perfect from where, where my mum's house was because we went left. And then the next right after that was the fucking main street. Uh, yeah. Coming on the main street. And we got there and he put the blinker on. He's like, beep, beep. <laughs> and he turned the blinker off and then he turned it back on. He's like, what the fuck's wrong with your car, car? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, in, a good one. in hindsight, someone said, you, um, you do it to the brake. You do it to oh, the brake yeah, light. Do yeah. it to the brake light. Every time they brake it, which would have been better, but we didn't yeah. know. We were just winging it back there. Yeah, true. Yeah, brake would be good because it's yeah, like yeah. You it goes off way some more. And, and kind of just it'll startle yeah. you a bit more. Yeah. When true. you put it on the brakes, be like, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm terrible with cars and like engines oh, or like electronics. What was your first car? My first car. It was an old Commodore. I don't even know what Commodore? year it would have been. But it was a Ute. It was a little fucking Ute, man. It what, was deadly. What um, year, what year was it? Do yeah, I don't even know what year it would have been, but it was like this um dark purpley black sort of thing. It was yeah. a man. But the only reason I got it was cuz inside like the um the roof of it was this like leopard fur. <laughs> yeah, you say. <laughs> no, it was fucking sick. <laughs> was, you Had the dice, you know, Snoop get Dog. The, yeah, we play Snoop yeah. Dogg all the time. Get the <laughs> dice hanging from the mirror <laughs> yeah. like a pimp mobile. <laughs> pimp my right. Yeah. No, oh. so it was like furry, like yep. furry leopard, like print sort of oh, fucking okay. carpet. I wonder on the what roof. it was, like an old v, VP or yeah, something. Yeah, I don't know. even know. Yeah, right. Yeah, but um, it was fucking deadly. Fucking beast, man. That's you, You're not Australian unless you had a Commodore. Yeah, and because I had a dog, I used to take my dog everywhere. Back, it was so fuck, good yeah. having a Ute. But the shit thing with owning a Ute, yep. everyone asked you to fucking help them move. Oh, true. You know, Back move when houses, younger. heaps of my mates. And because we were at that time, like just out of school and stuff, like... Heap of people moving out or moving houses, um, yep. getting their own places. I helped so many people move and it was fucking headache. I remember, this is a bit random, but I remember being at a party at my mate's party. It was kind of a little bit out of town in Charters and we were just like a shed party. And then there was this one fellow who was there and he had a couch strapped to the back of his ute. I don't know what whether he was <laughs> moving it the next day or not, he was at the party. And he's just started to leave and me and my mate were like, well, let's jump on it. <laughs> so we jumped on it, just being silly buggers. And the next minute, he didn't. Detect. Did he know that you were on there? No, he didn't. Oh, we were just we were just doing it to like stir him up. Yeah, and you know what I mean. But he didn't. He couldn't tell, and he kept on driving. And we're like, "Fuck, we're in it now. We're on <laughs> you it. Better hold on." So we're hanging on, and we're driving into town. We actually went past the coppers too. We looked up, and the coppers going, "We're like, fuck." So we ducked down. They didn't see us, thankfully, which is good because I got another story where something like this happened, and the coppers yeah. did see us, oh. and we ended up getting arrested. It was on Maggie Island. True. Actually, I'll tell that. Yeah, I'll spin that next. But we're cruising along, and then next minute he's driving down the main street. Me and my mate just giggling on the back of this couch, <laughs> like, looking around. Should have started banging on the roof yeah. or something. Well, he dro drove freaked him out. Drove past the tavern, like, and then we're, there's all these cunts at the front of the white horse, and we're like, <laughs> thinking we're all good, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he gets to the end of the like the T section there, and we jump off, and then me and my mate are like. What are we doing now, bro? <laughs> you got to find a way back. I don't even think we were 18 to go to the tab. Oh, yeah. Or maybe I was, but maybe you just didn't want to go to the yeah, tab. Yeah, yeah. Like, we just did it for a while. Didn't laugh. feel like getting in a fight that <laughs> night. <laughs> didn't feel like getting our teeth punched in. <laughs> <laughs> but then we're like, fuck, I don't really, I don't know. Like, fuck, what are we doing now? We're yeah, just like, yeah. we're just too impulsively yeah. thought it was the funnest thing ever. Then we <laughs> hopped off and like, what now? This is shit. How do yeah. we get back? Fuck, and that's but lucky it was only sort of, he would have only been doing, what, 50, 60 And I think he didn't notice right. until we fucking yeah. hopped off. My brother fell out of the back of a ute when he was about oh, 16. Shit, really? Um, Fuck him up. Fucking cracked his head. Oh, has metal plate, like he was in a coma. It was Where? pretty fucked up. Oh, yeah. oh, proper fucked him up. Yeah, man. In a coma, yeah. man. That is brutal. Um, what happened? It was not far from home. I think he was just fucking, you know, drunk in the, like, going yep. to or from yep. a party. Yep. And um, it wasn't far from home, luckily, and uh, he fell out of the back. 
cracked his head, but the mad cunt gets up and walks home. What are the Walks unit? home and then I think Dad, I, th- I was young, so he was 16, I would have been 10. Yep. Um, and then I don't remember it that much. I remember afterwards, but yeah. not that night. Yep. And um, I think Dad's like, N- you're not going to sleep, cunt. you got to go to the yeah, hospital. exactly, yeah. And, um, First thing I can do. Yeah, he fucking ended up pretty fucked up from it. Like, they put him in a coma and had to fix his head what up. What kind of you was it, you know? Like, he's just, nah, were they doing know, but skids yeah. or something? Or like well, I'm not sure, man. But, yeah, I'm jumped in the back. Cunt, like, that's brutal. Lucky fucking years didn't fall off well, the what couch. Had, that, um, I'd, we went camping literally last year at Flat Rock. And um, we went to get a firewood mish. It was fucking funny because we're drinking. And we're like, let's go for a firewood mish. And we end up hooking up a trailer to the ute and we put camp chairs on the back of the trailer. Uh, and we had music cranking and we were just driving around like, having the time of our lives. You don't think about this. This is four wheel driving yeah. tracks. Like we we're just driving around, fuck yeah, cranking the music, going through past campsites and that. And then we got back to the fucking, we got back to the, the camp and everyone, all the boys that stayed at the camp were like, where's the firewood? And we're like, fuck. <laughs> 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 just went on a joyride <laughs> without even fucking. Yeah. We forgot about it. So we went for another trip. <laughs> My mate's little nephew, he's a young fella. He was in the back of the ute. We were also, there's probably about four or five of us in the back of the ute. And he's cruising along. And there was big branches and he was standing up. And I was like, oh, yeah. oh hey, fucking watch out for the branches, bud. And he, he must have went to squat down as the same time as the back tires hit a bit of a rut. Oh, and yeah. he just full fell straight off the back of the ute. Fuck. And then we were, snapped, we were slapping on there like, hey, hey, woo up, woo up. And then fucking my mate, my mate too, who was his uncle, he hopped out and went up to him. Apparently he was unconscious on the ground. So I had to wake him up. Fuck. I was still in the ute. I was just still there drunk. I didn't even bother hopping out. <laughs> yeah. Fucking shit, friend. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was just like, ah, fuck, little fella should have held on. Yeah. But yeah, my mate went... It's his fault. My, it's mate, my mate was like, I think he was fucking unconscious. But then we are also like, was he unconscious or was he just playing silly but yeah, just trying to get attention because yeah. he's a younger fella? Yeah. You know what I mean? Young drunk. But the story I was going to spin before was just pretty fucked up. We went to Maggie Island for schoolies. Yeah. And um, did, did you go to Maggie for schools? No, or you we went, went to Ellie. Yeah. yeah, okay, yeah. Beach. Well, that pretty much half of the schoolies on Maggie was riding them buses around. Yeah. And I remember me and my mate were fucking riding along them buses. And all of a sudden we went to hop on, but it was pretty full. We looked at the back and there was like a little bumper, maybe fucking <laughs> yay big, maybe yeah. four or five inches. Yeah. And we just stood on that and then we held on to the, like these <laughs> little handles and we we're just cruising along. And some of those roads are like by the cliff. Yeah, and like fucking... And the Steep, right? Like it's yeah. quite hilly. Someone's Maggie Island's cool. hilly as. It is, yeah. So them just roads are me and one narrow. other mate hanging on and then the whole bus realised we were on the back and they're all cheering us on. Yeah, like cheering and not, not. And I looked up and I read this writing on the back of the fucking windscreen and I said to my mate, fucking do not read that writing. <laughs> and it said, emergency um, exit handles, pull handles to remove windscreen. Oh. <laughs> like, that's what we were using to hang on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, So we're fucking, Harley, I'm just trying to grab one on anything, like little gecko hands, wrap yeah, it around, trying yeah. to grab one on fucking whatever I could, just for extra support. And then we come down that um, hill into the roundabout that's at Nelly Bay. And when we came coming in. Coming from like coming from Way. Yeah, coming from yeah. Alma Way. And we yeah. come down and then we seen coppers coming in the end, uh, into the intersection coming from the other way, coming from, uh, from Picnic Way. Yeah. And we obviously go on right at that roundabout, the bus is cruising around. And the coppers are like, fuck. And then they fucking seen us. This yeah. concert. So they turned around. They put the lights on, pulled the whole bus over. And then me and my mate jammed up. We hopped off and we're like, should we run? Or we sort it, we sort it. Yeah. And we stayed. They grabbed us, put us in the back, like cuffed us up on that. Fucking put us in the back of the paddy wagon and then took us to the Picnic Bay um, cop shop. Yeah. But my mate had a goatee. It's fucking random. He had a goatee drawn on his face <laughs> in Nico. But we drew a goatee on his face in Nico just because yeah. of the young, young dumb cunts. They made him scrub it off. Like they made him scrub it off and he had to get a little photo. Oh, yeah. He got the photo on that. And then it was like one in the morning. They're like, all right, boys, you're free to go. And we're like, oh, okay, cool. We just what do like, you go for the week or weekend? Or how we went long? For a week. We yeah. Went for a week. So yeah. when was this in the trip? Like, Oh, this would have been like the third day or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> halfway yeah, through. Yeah, halfway yeah. through it. But they're like, yep, you're right to go. So we're just sitting around waiting, like, okay, thanks. Like thinking they're going to give us a lift. Yeah. So we're, <laughs> we're staying at Nelly. Yep. And they're like, yeah, you can go now. We're like, any lift? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, nah, on your way. I'm like, fuck. So we started walking and we didn't even have any phone. I don't even, oh, no, we might, I think my mate might have had a one, Services shit had over a, there I think anyway. My though, mate had a phone on. or something. We were walking along and it was dark. I don't even know. I don't even know if we did have a phone on it. And my mate, <laughs> we're walking along and it was dark. And my mate's like, <laughs> like, stood in something. He's like, oh, what the fuck is that? Something fucking feels weird. And he's <laughs> reaching down around. This is pitch black, man. No moonlight, <laughs> nothing. And he's reaching. This thing's fucked up. What is it? <laughs> then a car came around in the corner or something and lit it up and it was roadkill. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. So the in front of the Fuck. <laughs> so then we're fucking walking along covered in like fucking blood yeah. and shit. Yeah. Ended up getting back. But it ended up being a couple hundred dollar fine or something. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing of it. Oh, yeah. that's fucking... So luckily, probably got off lightly. Luckily, like some of this shit you do, eh? You're lucky that... In you either don't yeah. fuck yourself up yep. or get in more trouble. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know? So don't jump in the back of utes or 
That's brutal if you brother, <laughs> Don't man. do like shit you like good. that. Yeah. Another you... funny story about my brother. <laughs> when he was similar age probably, um, probably would have been before before that happened. Talking about Commodores too. We had this deadly like gold uh, Commodore mm. for like family car. And mum and dad were out. It was just us kids at home. So he took the car the to a party. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Went to a party. But the fucking <coughs> the worst thing mm. is he got to the party, cruised around all night and then coming home, he got through the front gate and then going to park under the house, he's like fucking obviously fucked up, hit the accelerator or something and crashed into the brick wall at the oh, front of the house, oh, like shit. half caved in this brick You're wall kidding. at the front of the house, woke us kids <laughs> so up and we're like, fuck. And then we're waiting for mum and dad to get home and he's shitting himself. Oh, you would, bro. Yeah, fuck. mum come home and fucking punch cunt out of him. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, fucking <laughs> home. So that's the thing, I guess I was lucky like seeing him do shit like that or fall out of the ute and yeah. stuff. Like you he's, learned from it. Yeah, he's six years older than me, so, so yeah, I was sort of, it definitely still did some stupid shit as I got older and got on the piss and he stuff. He would have been but spewing, he was so close he, to yeah, getting home, making yeah, a mission exactly. success and yeah. then fucking tell you can't crash into yeah, a wall. fucked it up literally in the last five seconds of parking Fucking hell. Um, but yeah i learned heaps of him of what not to do yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the way to do it <laughs> what to steer clear of yeah my mate had an old vh commodore and it was like fucking the best man he it, i think he he came up from new south wales so he was that mate that was older because of the age oh difference. yeah they're in a different grade yeah right? so i think yeah. he was whatever he was 18 or he got his license when we were still in grade 10 or yeah. grade 11 we're cruising and doing lappies and that, thinking we're all good. You know, when you first fucking yeah. like, do lappies and yeah, shit, it's yeah. the best day yeah. when you're a young cunt. Like, there a little was bit um, of first freedom, you know? Yeah, yeah. fucking ah. But We were cruising along and I remember we had a carload of us. And next, I was in the back, like back right, and there was five of us sucking all, all filled into this car. We're just driving the back streets. And my mate in the back middle, all of a sudden, was like, <laughs> like made a big fucking commotion <laughs> and flicked his hand forward. And my mate was just driving. We like looked over, like, what the fuck? And my mate driving. Felt something wrap around his hand and he was like, oh, he felt it too and flicked it. Next minute he's swerving all over the road. Snake Pulled out, yep. Fucking everyone just bailed out of it. He's like, fucking snake, what the fuck? Bailed out, fucking, <laughs> we jumped out. In the middle of the road, we just parked up, jumped out of it and we were like, what the fuck? He's like, yeah, I felt a snake crawl down my arm. Uh, and then uh, the, the dude driving's like, yeah, you flicked it on me. <laughs> and we're all like, oh, fucking, yeah, right. What are we going to do now? He's like, I'm pretty sure it landed down near the, like in between the car seat and the door, like underneath the car seat. Yeah. And then my mate had the old, you know, the Nokia phone that had a torch on it. Remember the that? The first one, thirty three ten or something. Yeah, yeah. On the I top think, of it. I think I did. Yeah, that's how he grabbed it. I remember for some reason, fucking, I was the person who went up to look. I don't know, <laughs> fucking, if they were jamming or I was trying to be a hero or whatever. Yeah. I fucking went up, and I was looking. Oh, fuck, there's got to be a snake here somewhere. And I looked, <laughs> I looked under the car, like in between the car seat. I remember that trend from City Beach, them shell necklaces? <laughs> I was a shell oh, necklace. I've seen a shell necklace. That's fun. Yeah, and I, looked, I, looked, <laughs> I looked down and I was like to Eli, oh, did, you have a, did you have a shell necklace on? And he felt, he's like, oh yeah, I did. What happened to it? And then <laughs> Yellow the, Valley shell necklace, <laughs> eh? Hey? Yeah, old fluoro green shell. <laughs> yeah. So uh, he fucking realised that it unravelled. <laughs> Fell down, his, <laughs> <laughs> fell down his arm and he flicked it on. He's <laughs> nearly fucking thrown a make-believe snake into a driver, <laughs> made him crash all over his shell necklace. All over a City Beach $10 shell necklace. Holy fuck. Yeah, fucking random, eh? <laughs> We're like, you silly cunt. Oh. Oh, the old VH. We had wicked times in that car, eh? Fuck. Another time, you know, we figured out that if you point the... Uh, the windscreen wiper to the right. Yeah, you right. can wet people as yeah, they go past. We did it in the drive through in Macca's. Yeah. We were in the drive through and my mate's ordering <laughs> and like squirting as he's ordering. And then Sheila, the poor young Sheila's just looking straight at him. She's like, hey, oh, that's me. He's like, what are you doing? And he's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm trying to play dumb. To it. Yeah. Was it getting there or just yeah, the window? Going into the cash register. Oh, that's going into the cash register and he's just trying to play dumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the old BH. See, I don't know the the models and all that oh, sort of yeah. thing. Like, yeah, yeah. It's fucking. We, I grew up on that shit. I had a I had a VN and it got handed me down from like my uncle. Well, it was actually my mum's cousin, so whatever that is, second cousin, whatever yeah. my uncle. And um, my, his brother, my other uncle, was a spray painter. So oh, he yeah. he painted it all nice. So I had an old bus flames at the and end. stuff on the side. Yeah, bro, <laughs> <old> flames, hood scoop. <laughs> 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 no, but he painted. So I had a nice like it. It yeah. looked nice, but we, we used to thrash it, bro. We used to fucking go out, jumped it, got it airborne. Oh, yeah. My mate had a Toyota Camry and um, he got a new car. So we decided to take it out to the river, like out of Flat Rock where there's jumps and that and fucking thrash it. <laughs> so we decided, I remember I was driving it and I had a motorbike helmet. We all put motorbike helmets on. 
fucking stupid. I just remember driving out to the river and looking up in the rear view and I just see three cunts in the back wearing motorbike helmets. <laughs> <laughs> so we end up getting it airborne, jumping it, like thrashing Did it. Did you just, ride it off? Then? And then we drove it back to his house and then we fucking end up, we were just drinking. We, we would have been young, 17 or something. And we decided to rock it. We decided just to keep yeah, on rocking yeah. it. And we're like, yeah, let's tip it upside down. Mm. And we end up rocking it, tipping it upside down. <laughs> and then we were jumping on it, just being little young dumb cunts. Dumb cunts. But we're at my mate's dad's. So then we were just we just left it upside down. And then we fucking we went into the pool and we're swimming it. And then my mate Bevo was like, fuck, dad's coming home. Quick, oh. hide. The car's still there. And we all just shit ourselves because obviously it was his <laughs> first car. And we ran inside. And <laughs> we're all hiding. Fucked his first car. Yeah, up, I'm dumb cunts. And it was a night nice, Toyota Camry, but that's yeah. one of the most reliable sedans ever. Those yeah. are air conditioned. They cold for like 30 years, man. <laughs> fucking colder than my Mrs. Brand New I30. Yeah. And anyways, fucking, we were inside hiding. And then my mate, um, Shitboy, who's an absolute menace, he's one of them. Just, <laughs> I've got so many stories about that guy. But yeah, he was, we were all hiding in there. And then you could hear Frank like, Jesse! <laughs> And then we're all quiet trying to hide. And then my mate, shit boy, he's like, we're in here, Frank. <laughs> just reveal. Just reveal. We're all quiet. <laughs> did he fucking flog him or what? Yeah, oh, he think he did get in a bit of strife for that, yeah. Wow. But my mate reckons he was he hit under the bed. It was pretty cringe to say. He's like, yeah, I jumped under the bed and I just seen a heap of fucking used up toilet paper. <laughs> the old cum rag right in front of his face. Oh, <laughs> yuck. <laughs> Oh, that's rank. <laughs> yeah, I know, rank. Fuck. Yeah, it was uh, deadly that time of the like your life though. Eh? You getting get your new car, your first, or car, first car, or it's like first freedom, mate. Yeah, yeah. One, my mate. So I rode to school. I used to ride to school every day with it, but it was mad because there was a couple of us all lived in the same area. Yep. One would pick us up from um, like the other end of the street, pick me up, then we'd yep. go past, and by the end of it, we'd pick up like five or six lads sometimes. Yeah, and, yeah, um, through the loop. But the lad who lived up the uh, other end of the street who pretty much used to start, you know, start the ride. Yeah, yeah. He got his license first yeah, and he yeah. had this mad dual curve Hilux like in grade 12, started oh, grade 12. So we rode together, together fucking, All the time. you know, grade 8, 9, 10, 11 and then started grade 12. He got this fucking... Leveled up in the world. Yeah, eh? and he used to pick us up. Same thing though. Just same order. Same fucking little Fuck, yeah. track, but he'd just pick us up You feel the like way. a boss, eh? Hey, yeah, it was so time. good, man. Fucking cranking tunes. Instead of riding so what you do bikes around. The towns would be like strand lappies, eh? Surely. Yeah, strand lappies. Because in charters, it's just the, the main street lappies all the time. Yeah. Like, you go yeah. over it, eh? Yeah. We'd all get our coins together, shuffle our coins together for fuel money. That's what we do, get yeah. the fuel money together and then fucking all chip in and just... Well, it used to be bad. Laps. You could put in like... 10 or 15 bucks fuel and it'd be half yeah. a tank. And you just cut lap. Well, back then, yeah. Now that'd yeah. be like fucking two laps yeah. of strand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we used to do strand lappies all the time. Fuck, that'd be way better. Weren't bad. them lads who, you know, pulled up at the... De- like pull ah, up at the I bonded up. Or you go would. down you'd be a night owl. Water. I reckon nah. you'd be a little night owl fucking bandit. Nah. <laughs> See, that seems... Camping that's chairs, a bit too cringe for me. It was cringe yeah. enough now that I think back yeah. that we were just doing laps of the strand, like well, aimlessly. In charters, they had centre parking. People pull up there. Oh, I've got a fuck... Fucking funny story about my mate. You know the boxer, uh, Butcher? My mate, the Butcher, the boxer? Oh, yeah, yeah. Fucking Damo, the funniest cunt. He had like a sick car too, man, for a young fella. It was like a fucking some sort of falcon, to, like, you know, little Dees falcon. And he pulled up in front of the, there's a, there's a uh, pub in front of the charters called The Sovereign. Yeah. And he pulled up in front of that and there's a heap of people out the front. And he decided, fuck yeah, I'll do a little burnout. There's some chicks there that he fucking wanted to impress. <laughs> And he did a big burnout and then just lost it, absolutely lost control of it. <laughs> We're doing fishies down the main drag from there. And there's an Anzac Memorial. Oh, yeah. He fucking crashed into the Anzac Memorial. Absolutely broke his car off. Oh, right off, went that fast. And then he, he, he broke his collarbone at the same time, I think. And there's two of them. They had rum tins all in the car and everything. It was the dickheads of drink driving. He jumped out. One of the mates ran the other way and he ran past the silly cunt, ran past where he just did a burnout <laughs> and, was, and was like to the people, Running past, you see that dickhead crash a car? <laughs> Did they know it was him though? Well, they would have seen the whole thing. It's all within view. <laughs> <laughs> it's all within view. Important thing from that though. Did he get the girls' numbers? Or? <laughs> <laughs> Did he get a route? <laughs> you reckon any or girl has ever been impressed or by someone burnout. doing a yeah, or, or, or a rev or a little? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he ended up fucking writing his car off, full ride off, and everything. And then our um our mates uh. Mum, she was working in the hospital. She heard the whole thing and she seen that it was his car. She ran in there and pulled the rum tins out. And oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucking legend, man. Yeah. She took the rum tins and everything out and like took care of him. But yeah, just the fact that he crashed in front of all these people, <laughs> ran past and was like, look at that dickhead. <laughs> they would have seen him. Tries to make out, yeah, wasn't yeah. him? But fuck it. Oh, absolute unit. I remember my VN Commodore, the, the light never worked. Yeah. And I remember the light you had to hold in a certain position. 
to actually for it to work. Yeah. If you just if you turned it on, it wouldn't turn on. You had to hold it in a little, you know, oh, okay. yeah. like the wiring was loose or something. <clears throat> and I remember I flew out when I used to do shutdowns. The company I worked for would something they had their own little plane, and they'd we'd fly out from Ingham sometimes. Oh, okay. So I'd drive my Commodore to Ingham, leave it at the airport, fly out, and then when I come back in, we'd fly back into Ingham, and then I'd, I'd drive back to Townsville and then to Charters. And I remember fucking driving back. I oh, know when we we're flying in, Clarky, this fellow from Towns, was like, "Oh, can we? Can I jump in with you?" Because he obviously got dropped off. Yeah. So yeah, man, no dramas. He was a legend, older fellow. He was probably in his forties. And we hop in, and we got in at like nine or ten o'clock at night. And I was like, "Oh yeah, the only thing is, Clarky, I would have been eighteen or something." It's like, "Yeah, this light's fucked. I just got to hold it on." And you'd be driving <laughs> on the highway doing hundred, and it'd just cut out. You'd hit a bump, and it'd cut oh. out. And I'd put up with it for ages, man. I was just a young and stupid dickhead. Did you drive at night and much? Then, so, or did uh, you? Just, most of the time, I drove during the day. Yeah. But I had the light on properly, and then we're fucking cruising along, and then we hit a bump, and it just cut out. I remember Clarky like, "Yeah, you fucking little mad <laughs> bastard. I wouldn't be driving with you if I hadn't known this shit." We're we'll carrying on the whole time. We're gonna fucking die. <laughs> Why didn't you just get it fixed? I did. I ended up getting it fixed. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I ended up getting it fixed. It's probably a fucking two minute job. It, it was. It was. We went to the wreckers and it was just like the switch. We yeah. found an old car and changed the switch over. Yeah. Fucking like fine. Yeah, yeah. But I was rocking it for ages. I remember another time driving that car back to charters at night time. And you know when you um they're doing road works and there's like a uh, fucking they do the, they have the light set up. Yeah. It's like a single road. Yeah. I remember I, I waited for it. I was waiting. Got to this light. It was like fucking one in the morning or something. I was like, fuck, surely nothing's coming. So I just started sorting it one way, like, <laughs> fuck yeah, driving along. Coming out the other side, all goods. Fuck yeah, I'm not waiting for these red lights. Like, there's no, it's the middle of the night. Get to the next one, couldn't see any lights. Fuck yeah, keep going. Boosting along. Next minute, I see a heap of fucking lights coming around the corner. Uh, big truck lights. Yeah. And I was on the little one way. It was coming straight. Just get onto the dirt. Yeah, but it was a big or? drop off. You know uh, how they haven't oh, built the road up yeah, yet. Yeah. And I fucking just start reversing. What did you do? Oh, I had to, it was because it was like pretty kind of last minute. I had to come, pretty much drop off onto that road and then I lost it a bit. The car was going fishy. <laughs> Fucking going around, I just pulled up and was like, "Holy cunt!" <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking shit. Yeah, and then I obviously kept on driving. There was no goods, but yeah. fucking shit, myself, dumb cunt. Them fucking roadworks are annoying sometimes. Uh, all the time, eh? Probably better off just waiting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> from now on, fuck no. <laughs> yeah, the old first car, Commodore Bandit. Yeah, Commodore. Yeah, like you say, everyone's probably owned a Commodore at some stage. Surely, eh? pretty sure most my either that or a Falcon, eh? Pretty sure most my mates had them. Yeah. Fucking there, they died, died art now. Um, I remember another one of my mates had a he had a Commodore VT, and um, this is a bit of a fucking random story, but I I moved to Mount Isa, and um, my when I moved to Mount Isa, I moved out there to work in the mine, lived with my old boy, work in the mines. Within a couple of weeks, my grandma passed away, so I came back to Charters, and I came back to Charters, and I caught up with my mate, and he's like, "Fuck, I've got um shit boy spec keys." He's like, "He's working right now. I've got his car keys." Since you don't, he doesn't know you're back in town, you should just go sit in the back of his car, wait for him to finish work, yeah. just spring it on him. So I was like, yeah, right. So I was fucking sitting in the back of his car and then I was like, fuck, this car's taking forever. So I decided to pop the, the you know, the little door that goes down. I thought I'll just jam him up and just hide in his boot. So when he finishes work, he hops in yeah, his car, yeah. he's driving for a bit. Yeah. So I'm just spinning him out. And then I'm fucking, I was waiting there for ages and then I hear his car like, doop, doop, unlock. I'm just in his boot there. Like, fuck. <laughs> I hear it start up like, woo, woo, woo. I'm like, fuck, here we go. And he worked at the butchers and Woolies. So he's parked in the Woolies car park. And he fucking started reversing out driving and I just wanted to get a gauge where he was. So I lifted the, the bonnet up and there was like some Sheila packing fucking groceries into her car, seen me. She's seen me in the back of the bonnet. She's like looking at me like, what the fuck? Thinking you're getting kidnapped or yeah, something, I was like, what the fuck? So he's driving along for a while and then I'm in the back of the, this bonnet just waiting until he gets home and then I was just going to yell out and just be a fucking turkey. And he pulls up and I thought he was at home and I was like, dog liquor. We just call each other dog liquors. Yeah. You know, like fucking yeah, yeah. Like, dog liquor. And it was all quiet. I'm like, Dog liquor. What are you doing? And then it was all quiet of a sudden. I just heard, what the fuck? And then I pushed the seat down and came out and was like fucking jamming him up. And he's like, he actually pulled up to talk to someone. Oh, pulled up on the right. side of the road, seen yeah. someone he knew walking along. Yeah. He asked them for a lift. Next minute, they were just talking. They said <laughs> both of them from the back of the, back of the bonnet, dog liquor. And they're like, what the fuck? When I came out, and they were both spun out. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Not the car? reaction that you yeah, fucking yeah. thought you were going to get. Yeah, fucking would have made him look like a creep. Yeah, yeah. Up Someone the... falling out and jumping out of his boot. Yelling out dog liquor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck it yeah. Fucking but, random. Boy, fucking random thing I was thinking about at work the other day was... <laughs> This is fucking stupid. At um, I seen all the marmalade jam that they have there. You know the little sachets yeah, little, you yeah. put on your toast, and because I was making fucking toast, and um, in eight years I don't think I've seen a single person have a marmalade jam. They're all just going off. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't think I've had one. But like, know. what age do you reckon it is where people start to eat 
Marmalade <laughs> jam. Cut. I feel like only old people eat that. You've got to be, be plus 60, 60, 60 plus. 65 plus. Yeah, 60 plus for sure. Or unless you're in the hospital. You know, the, hosp- the hospital desperate. only seem to give you the leftovers. Yeah, who the it must fuck be the leftovers. Jam? Like orange, they give you that orange jam or marmalade uh, apricot jam you know, and stuff. I don't know. Who like, does eat that shit? No one fucking eats that except for old people. Surely that and mango chutney. <laughs> and, <laughs> mango and fucking chutney. Fruitcake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I hate fruit in any sort of and, things. And eh? shortbread like, too. That's another thing. Nah, shortbread's good. It is. It's all right, but that's a like like the old classic gift, like Christmas present or something. Yeah, yeah. It's a tin full of fucking that shortbread. With the fucking white icing sugar over yeah, it. Yeah, eh? yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What else? What else is there that fucking old people don't eat? That was just a random thought that I had. Fucking um, like, uh, scones, but they, I eat them as well. But my grandma made wicked fucking yeah. pumpkin scones. Awesome scones. My grandma used to make fucking pies and that from scratch. Yeah. And sausage rolls and pasties yeah, yeah. and that. Fucking that's a thing of the past. Or yeah. What? People now we really... used to go up to Ingham and visit um, one of the relations up there, but he's actually this old um, Italian family. And um, it was like a married into. Yeah. Married yeah. into mum's yep. side of the family. And yeah, the old girl up there would just bake everything like, and like legendary they'd, they'd know you're yeah. coming and yep. just have all these all baked the goods and you, you couldn't leave until you ate like fucking 10 of everything so you're in a food coma yeah, <laughs> yeah. do you reckon that's a dying art of grandma's yeah. cooking up mad feeds i don't know you know like I don't, i'm just trying to think like, yeah my, my mum doesn't cook up mad feeds all the time you know like, yeah maybe because my grandma would make so wicked like, feeds, I bro. suppose it's so time-consuming to sit there in the kitchen and bake all these fucking things. That's people, all, I suppose People are too then, busy with their time now. That's all they do back then, watch Days of Their Lives and yeah. fucking cook food. Like the old people now even have more stuff to do. Yeah. Than get, on Facebook, sit there get on Facebook and complain about like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> complain the, about fucking <clears throat> what's happening. Fuck, there's some funny shit on that page, eh? It's always the old people, eh? And yeah. they just don't give a fuck what yeah, they yeah. say. It's like their mind's made up. <laughs> They're yeah. not, you're not going to change a 65 or 70-year-old oh, stub- view, view on the world. Stubborn, eh? <laughs> Stubborn old bastards. And they just won't be fucking... <laughs> you can't tell them, eh? Yeah, fuck. My grandma was awesome, eh? She fucking made some cool shit. That's going back a long time. Yeah. My grandma got dementia. It was proper sad, eh? Like, used to ride my push bike up to the Eventide, the old people's home. Yeah. You should ride and see her once a week or whatnot. And um, I just rocked up one time. She didn't recognize me. Yeah, it's fucked. Yeah. 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 My granddad went yep. through the same thing. It was like just, and then she had that for like a, a while, maybe a year or something, a year or two, two years. And then when she eventually passed away, it wasn't that sad because it was like fucking yeah, she passed probably away that better, time. Yeah, and it's probably better off. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. It was like a rude shock. Rocked up on my push bike. Hey, grandma. And she just didn't even, didn't even recognize yeah. me. I was like, fuck, a bit shattering. I remember one time I was quite young. I never met my other grandma on my mum's side. Yeah. Um, but... My granddad on that side, he was a deadly old Welsh fella. Sure. From over okay. from Wales. Um, always perfectly dressed, had it carried around a comb, had his hair brushed all Slick the time. Rick. Real deadly Ooh. fella. And um, he used to, he was the entertainer. Every gathering or family party we had, he was playing guitar, That's singing. Cool. Fuck yeah. Um, from like the same place as Tom Jones. Sex in Wales, bomb, you know? sex yeah, bomb. Yeah. So he was Yo, just deadly bomb. entertainer. And, Fuck um, yeah. Remember one time, like I think when he passed away, I was only twelve, maybe. So I was quite young still. Yeah. But I remember, um, yeah, him going through dementia and sitting there trying to play guitar, and he sort of he could still strum along, but he Couldn't was forgetting voice. the words and oh, stuff. Yeah. And I remember watching him get really frustrated, as he would, man, um, that he couldn't play, yeah, yeah, that he couldn't play the guitar. Yep, yep. And um, that's why I sort of told myself, because um, no one else in my family was did any music yeah, same except for family. him same. but um i always sort of told myself oh i'm gonna fucking teach myself to play the guitar i'll learn to play the guitar just yeah, so nice. i can play a few of the songs that he used that to used play, to play or, yeah. have you learned some more yeah some of the songs he, yeah, 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 cool, yeah keep it going eh? yeah um yeah no one yeah. in my family played music as well it's weird eh? and then yeah. i have mates like one of my mates his whole everyone in their family plays an instrument and all of their like extended family members when they have reunions and that, it's just a big massive yeah, camp session. Just like a big fucking. How cool is that, bro? Yeah. They they did for school in school. Their parents were teachers. Both their parents played instruments, and they had the whole family play a song up on the true. stage. Yeah. yeah. Fucking have a little battle of the bands within the family. Imagine yeah, that, like true, team right? up with yeah. someone, like this brother and sister versus the mum and dad versus <laughs> yeah. the fucking auntie and uncle. That's, that's talent, eh? That would be deadly. That is proper talent, man. 
But yeah, if I, nah, my, I didn't meet one of my granddads. He he did the whole thing, went over to Japan for the war and all that. Oh, like, yeah. would have been fucking brutal. Yeah. Ended up dying. It's funny, he went over there, survived the war and everything, died from fucking smoking dope, died from lung cancer. Yeah, right. You know, yeah. fucking ridiculous. It's funny how it works like yeah. that. You ever get your mouth washed out by soap by your grandparents? I had that no, happen. My grandma. My grandparents. Yeah, I remember yeah. literally must have swore or something. She fucking dragged me into the fucking, yeah. into the sink and put a soap bar in my mouth, washed <laughs> it out. Old school. <laughs> Imagine if soap tasted real good, but <laughs> strawberry flavor. <laughs> I feel like some of the flavors probably would be. Fucking some right, of them smell you know? good, eh? That's what I mean. Like oh, you smell some smell of good. them, but then you yeah cook yourself out eating it. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Like eating lollies. Yeah, yeah, true. What about the um the soap at the bottom of the urinal? You ever heard of cunts oh, eating them? I've heard oh. stories. Of fucking, I have. That's the fucked cake. up, eh? The urinal cake. <laughs> that is a rank. The old Todd Carney, Bob the bubbler. Oh, that is yeah. brutal, man. Nah, fuck, that is rank. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up. Nah, you couldn't pay me enough. Nah, that's nah. loose. Nah. Yeah, fuck. What What was your um your favorite TV show as a kid when you were younger? Oh, I fucking loved Scooby Doo. I can remember like playing in the yard, fucking all afternoon, get home from school, just play in the yard. But uh, I don't know what time it was. It must have been like. 4.30 or 5 o'clock, whatever time it was, I'd always time it that I'd run upstairs and watch Scooby-Doo. Yep. But then that was like when I was real young. When I started getting to you know, primary school, fucking Rocket Power. Rocket Power. This on Nickelodeon, 100%. remember that? Yep, literally. That's fucking what I loved when I was a kid. Rocket Power. That's crazy And then like that. you'd yep. say, yeah, fucking before Rocket you were Power. talking about like, yeah, dude, talk yeah, like yeah, that when yeah, you were yeah, younger, trying to Rocket act Power. like that little I'm, surfer, I'm skater never, dude. I never had Nickelodeon or whatever it was, Cartoon Network. My cousins had it. And oh, I remember yeah. going and watching it with my cousins and thinking, this is fucking yeah. cool. I remember the first episode I watched was, um, I don't know if it was the first episode of the whole show or not but it was yeah. the first one that i seen and it was them they fucking snuck into their neighbor's yard yeah. and like pumped all the water out of their pool oh, like so because yeah. one so of the dudes the one of the dudes was real yeah. smart like you know there's yeah, always yeah. that friend he's a bit of a geek so yeah. he figured out a way to fucking back engineer the pump i think oh right yeah. and they run a hose they in there it. it pumped all the water out yeah, yeah. and then yeah they're fucking skating in this because that's cunts would do like lords of dog yeah town. remember like that yeah, that yeah. lords of dog town yeah. cunts would do that like um, in california they'd find empty pills. and yeah i just thought it was so cool yeah <laughs> yeah and, um, that, i loved it too man and then they would be on bikes and shit yeah because you know? when you're young you just love that shit. yeah you know yeah that's fucking crazy bring up that was I'm trying to think of what other shows I watched. I remember, like, obviously, Hey Arnold. Yeah, all them sort of cartoons. The, the classic Hey Arnold. Nickelodeon um, shows. The, what was the Monsters? Keenan and one? Cal. Keenan, yeah, yep, Keenan that one. And Cal. What was the Monsters one? That Monst- cunt uh, held his eyeballs. Ariel Monsters. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Ariel Monsters, that was fucked out. It had that cunt with the hairy armpits yeah. holding his eyeballs. Cat around. dog. That's you. Remember that? That's cat dog. <laughs> cat that's dog. you, cunt. Yeah. You are cat dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was fucking heaps oh, of good shows, cat eh? Cat dog. Uh, Pinky and the Brain. Pinky in the brain. Oh, Pinky, was he like a little Pinky fucking the flogged brain, out brain, rabbit looking brain. thing or something? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. What, 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 was, was, what was his fucking little character? Little fucking little hairless rabbit or something? Little yeah. man. <laughs> no. Was he one of them cats? You know, them hairless cats? Oh, I think he might have been. Them what are they called? Fuck looking Egyptian cats. Yeah. Cats. Yeah, I don't know. That Pinky you reckon the brain. shows now are as good what? Like oh, it's hard because well, I don't watch. Well, but what's that? I just feel like shows back then were fucking so good. Bluey gets flogged now, eh? Yeah, That's Bluey is one, good, which is pretty cool. Actually, a, a show that I watched fucking all throughout my child, even teenage years, even as an adult, it was The Simpsons. Yeah, like that's got to be the goat. Yeah, got to be the goat show overall for all ages and everything. Like, oh, I swear I learned so many life lessons from the fucking Simpsons. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like what? It teaches you. Oh, I remember that one distinctively where fucking something about Bart stealing a video game. Oh uh, yeah, every stole a video yeah. game, and at the end of it, you're like. Oh, come on, man. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I suppose that they did sort of have little messages. Yeah, they did. That's fucking... That was... The Simpsons is... Oi, what's the best... Actually, this I'm just answering this question with that... Talking about Simpsons, but best intro. Best intro to oh, any, yeah. any TV show. I reckon for me, it's The Simpsons. Yeah, it's so known, I suppose. Yeah. It's like, yeah, Simpsons. And it's custom um, as well. Like what about Friends? Friends, yeah. Yeah. Fuck, that's a classic one. That's but like uh, the show itself, I, I don't mind Friends. I feel like Friends cops a bit of shit. Uh, my missus watches all the time, and fucking Jennifer Aniston. Like yeah, that's, sh- that's probably what yeah. roped most men into watching it. But um, I feel like Friends cops it a bit. Yeah, I think because it was sort of in competition with Seinfeld at the time, and Seinfeld's just so Seinfeld's much better. Classic man. Yeah. But the intro to Friends is fucking. It is cool. cool. Yeah, that was another um, intro that was like Keenan and Cal had Coolio singing. Did they remember that Coolio that... did this mad little rap? Yeah, is that um, Coolio? Yeah. Wow. Um, Same bloke who did Gangsta's Paradise. Yeah, yeah. 
Fuck yeah. I didn't realise that was him. Fuck, but I'm trying to the, think the of the other OC. intros. Remember the OC, yeah, that show? Yeah. That was another classic one. Fucking. What was the little songs? Um, uh, Forever Young or some yeah. shit. Nah. I don't know. Oi, what about um, fucking Bondi Rescue, bud? Take little me intro. back to the sweet <laughs> time. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's another classic. Oh, fuck no. Nah. I, I don't know. I don't really watch a lot of... T- I guess the, no, the, home and away, but the two. Oh, home and away, but <laughs> Ash off home and away, hey. Gas yeah, off home and away, yeah, yeah, I get that all the time. <laughs> yeah, fuck. No, I don't really like now. The TV whole thing's just changed because of Netflix. Oh, yeah. Hey? yeah, streaming yeah. services are pretty much made. They've just changed actual up the TV whole game. shows. When I um when I was in America, we spent a bit of time at that uh, at a university, at a college over there, and they had Netflix. And I remember thinking, this is a fucking stupid idea. Yeah. Like, why would I pay to watch shit when you can just stream it for yeah. free? You know, yeah. you just legally watch stream it. On, it. Yeah. Oh, and, then, yeah. and then now, it's the years later. Like, I thought Netflix will never take off. And Australia is always real behind in some of that yeah. shit. Like, when, when I remember traveling overseas, a couple of years later, you come back to Australia and then things cotton on. Yeah. And that was one of them. It was like, fuck, all of a sudden, Netflix just blew right up. It's huge. Took eh? over the world. Yeah, and and fucking... And now it's hard to stream shit illegally. Yeah. It's harder to stream yeah. shit. They crack down well, on it. I don't have any of it. Well... Yeah, you like know. I haven't heard of them in a while, you know, LimeWire yeah. and yeah. fucking... What was um, that? Bear Share. Remember Bear Share? There's there was some of those heaps, websites. Like for music, movies, all F sorts movies. of things. Yeah. Um, but crack streams for fights, eh? Yeah. Always crack streams. Yeah. But it's just so easy to fucking yeah. access stuff now. True that. Yeah. Stream, actual legit streaming well, platforms and you're not going to fucking give you a computer of virus. A virus that's <laughs> a big one, eh? You're not going <laughs> to fill your mum's computer full of fucking spyware. Yeah. LimeWire, man. Fuck, used to do that, eh? LimeWire all the time. Fucking used to... <laughs> I don't know if I've... I feel like I was telling someone this story the other day, so I don't know if I've already told it on here. But you know, um, there was a song, My Hands in the Cookie Jar? My Hands. You know that song? I can't remember who was it was. By Gym Class Heroes or something? I'm gonna, yeah, I was trying to think of the name. I think it is Gym Class Heroes. Yeah. Or, so so yeah. I, I downloaded that song on fucking LimeWire, and I had actually... Um, the version I got was a slower version. Oh, yeah. Was it like 75%? And it was like... My hands, my hands, my hands. But I thought that's how the song went. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I downloaded it. And then I remember being at drinks, like at my mate's party, and he had some drinks, and he was fucking, he put the song on, and it was like, my hand, my hand, my hands in the cookie. And I remember thinking, who the fuck sped this song <laughs> yeah. up? And I was, and I was like, You song? only knew the yeah. other version. I was like, is this song on Fast Forward, guys? Yeah. And everyone's like, nah, this is how it goes. And I was like, fuck off, this sounds like Chipmunk's version yeah. of it. They're like, nah, this is how it goes. And it turns out I downloaded a slow, a slow yeah. but some cunt just put it at like 0.5. Someone slowed it right down, and that's how I thought it was the whole time. <laughs> Silly cunt. That's so funny, though, way eh, that you can think. I remember sort of the same. Um, watching Terminator Two mm. on, we used to have it on video, or whatever. For watched it, I don't even know how many times. Judgment Day, yeah. As a fucking kid, I'll make cruising along on the boat. Yeah, Pee Wee Eighty, yeah. Fucking whatever but then I bought a DVD years later. XR hundred, and um, they had some like there's probably at least two or three parts of the movie that have little extra bits in it. Like it's oh, sort of yeah. like got deleted from the original that I remember. Yeah, yep. But they're in this DVD version and um, it just it doesn't seem like the same movie because I'm so used so, to it being one way. So they were missing parts or they had added parts in? Like missing parts, I guess. Oh, yeah, like there was one part... part um, Oh, you know how fucking he's in the desert there and he's trying to make him seem more human yeah, yeah. and he's saying like um, teaching him them terms and then he tries to get him to smile yep. or something like that. Um, in this deleted one, they actually show him smiling, <laughs> but it's like real fucked up. He's like, <laughs> does this real weird fucking smile. Different, and you're like, and because I'm not used to that in the one that I'd already watched a hundred times, yeah. I see it in this and I'm like, that's fucking weird. Yeah, it's like rewriting, yeah. Yeah, that's and there me. was a couple parts in the movie and it's like, because I'd known, you known know so it well. one way, yeah, yeah, yep. it was hard for me to get my head around seeing it you're another like, way. You're like, I don't remember it like that. Yeah. This is horseshit. Home and Away 2, was, oh, that was my most watched movie as a kid. Taped off the TV too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He just watched it over and over <laughs> and over. But that reminds me of the, you know, the Nelson Mandela theory or effect? Nelson Mandela effect? Yeah. Have you heard of that? Yeah. How people remember stuff a different way. Yeah. But now it's different. Have you, you looked into that I much? I have heard about it before. They call it Nelson Mandela effect or whatever or theory because some people remember Nelson Man- Mandela dying. Yeah. And then it's, it's so it's like, and it's with heaps of different things, man. Heaps of people like, uh, another one is um, We Are the Champions of the World. You know, we that song by fucking Queen. Oh yeah, Queen. Song. It doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't actually say at the end. Doesn't say of the world where people remember it being like that. Oh, and you yeah. listen to it back now, and it actually doesn't say that. So it's like a weird effect that people are spun out by because certain things people 100 percent remember it yeah, this way, right. and then you look it up and it's different. But 
thousands of people mm. remember it. As so it's like you've convinced, you're convinced of it being a certain, a certain way, way, and then they go and not. look at it, and it's yeah, you just look it up on YouTube, man. It's yeah, like right, a eh? Bit of a spin up. That's what that reminds me of. How like people remember things a certain way, yeah. and then you go back and look at it, and it's completely different. Yeah. Like, fucking hell, <laughs> that would have been That's funny weird. with the song though. Like only knowing it to be a set. Yeah. Great. Oh, like, another thing is, down. Uh, Luke, I am your father. Apparently, he never actually says that. What's he say? Oh, I don't know. He says something differently, but actually never. That's what people remember in Scott, like Empire Strikes Back or whatever. But he doesn't actually say it to those. He doesn't say that line. He says Really? Because that, to me, I'm not into Star Wars or anything yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. but I know that line. Yeah, like, no, that yeah. seems to be one of the most famous lines Which from is, Star Wars. There's, there's heaps of things where thousands of people remember it being a certain way, but they go and look it up and it's actually not that. Really? And that's why there's just all these stupid theories of like, you know, is it like, has, you know, the fucking time fractured up into a different timeline oh, and all yeah, this yeah. Hectic stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking a bit of a bit of a weird one. It is weird. But yeah. Uh, well. Uh, anyway, another shit talk. Yeah. Went off on a few tangents today. Yeah, another episode down. Um, 